Hi, my name is Terry Clark and I'm a certified personal fitness trainer and nutrition coach. Today I want to talk to you about a very important uh, concept, one that can affect um, how well you can burn body fat or how well you can build uh, muscle. I want to talk to you about uh, the three energy uh, pathways. Okay. Uh, you have three energy pathways in your body. Um, the first one is going to be the ATP uh, CP energy pathway. Uh, that is an explosive uh, pathway. It's basically the power uh, energy uh, pathway. Uh, it allows you to uh, gain um, a lot of power in a short amount of time. Uh, this pathway lasts about uh, 15 uh, seconds. So when you see guys in the gym and they're lifting a lot of heavy weight and they're doing short reps, uh, that is because they're using the ATP CP energy pathway. Uh, the rest time on the ATP CP energy pathway uh, needs to be about two to three minutes because that's how long it takes for the body to restore or replenish uh, this pathway. Uh, the ATP CP energy pathway is like a turbo uh, booster. Uh, next, once you run out of this type of energy, then your body switches over to the glycolytic uh, energy pathway. Uh, glycolytic uh, energy uh, pathway uh, lasts anywhere from 15 uh, seconds uh, to a minute. This is the uh, hypertrophy uh, energy pathway. This is the pathway that most people are going to use uh, to build muscles. Okay, So when you see folks in the gym and they're doing three to six sets, uh, eight to ten reps, you know, uh, with women maybe they may go up to 15 uh, reps. Uh, that's how muscle uh, is being built. Uh, the glycolytic energy pathway is named after glucose or glycogen. Uh, that is the body's uh, energy, our main energy source. Uh, glycogen sets right at the, uh, the muscle cells and it's right there so the muscles can readily and availably uh, use it. Uh, when it runs out, uh, it triggers a response uh, from the body. So the muscles get bigger so they can hold uh, larger uh, glycogen stores. Uh, so the next time when you're working out, um, they won't run out of glycogen. Okay, and So that's what causes the muscle swell, the muscle pump, what causes people uh, to uh, get really big uh, muscles. The last uh, energy pathway you're going to have is going to be the oxidative uh, energy pathway. Uh, the oxidative energy pathway uh, kicks in around a minute, okay, and that is the uh, your body's last uh, energy pathway. Uh, it's called oxidative because it works uh, off of oxygen, okay. Um, your body uses the oxygen uh, to burn fat and convert it uh, to energy. Okay, two things with the oxidative uh, energy pathway. It takes about three pounds of oxygen uh, to burn a pound of fat. And then also there's something called EPOC. Okay, with EPOC, what you're gonna find is that your body will basically borrow oxygen. It will basically use oxygen that it doesn't have uh, to get you through uh, whatever activity you're performing uh, that's causing you to need a lot of oxygen. Okay, so the goal when you're trying to burn body fat is to breathe heavy and to breathe for a long time. Okay, because the more you breathe, uh, the more body fat you gotta burn. Now with that EPOC, that's gonna be post um, energy, uh, post exercise consumption of oxygen. Okay, so what you're gonna find is that because your body borrowed oxygen, when you're finished working out, you're still gonna be short of breath. Okay, so you're not gonna uh, start breathing back normal. Again, it could take anywhere from an hour, two hours to three hours uh, for you to start breathing back normal again uh, after uh, exercise. Um, that's also gonna increase uh, the metabolism uh, as well. Okay, so understanding these three uh, energy pathways uh, allows you to know uh, what you need to do in the gym, what you need to do with natural activities, depending on what your goals are. Okay, if you're trying to build strength or power, then you want to access the ATP CP energy pathway. That's going to be short and explosive. If you're trying to build muscle, okay, you're going to want to access the glycolytic energy pathway. Okay, that is your intermediate range pathway. 
uh, that's anywhere from 15 uh, seconds to a minute. And then if you're just trying to burn uh, body fat, if you're in a cutting phase, uh, you're going to want to access that oxidative pathway. That means you're gonna have a higher reps, okay, and lower uh, volume. Uh, I hope this uh, video was uh, beneficial in explaining the energy pathways and how the energy pathways are used for body recomposition. Okay, if you like this video, uh, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you can continue to get more valuable uh, information uh, from me about burning body fat or building uh, muscle uh, when I post it. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at TF Clark uh, Fitness. Uh, my website is www.tfclark.com. Thanks a bunch and have a great day.